Good evening, good afternoon. Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. I'm here, believe it or not. I'm here. Let's see if I can adjust some lights. Hi, everybody. It is a Wednesday. You know what that means. Get your paintbrushes ready to go. Here we go. Wednesday, Wednesday. Let's see if I'm here. Okay. I believe I'm alive. I believe I can fly. I can believe I can touch the sky. Think about me every night and day. All right, I'm looking for me. I don't see me. Hi, hello, now I see me. How are you? Happy Wednesday. All right, um, kind of a big day. Hi in Nebraska, Christy, Linda, Gail, Beth, Anne, Christina, happy Wednesday. Uh, cheers. I'm celebrating. I paid the painter today. Ah, oh, look what I'm wearing. By the way, my painter said, isn't that cool? You have a shirt with your name on it. I was like, um, yeah, I don't normally wear shirts with my name on it. Um, but today we had a very special announcement go out. If you are interested in this year's retreat, um, you'll be happy to know. We announced the pre-registration early bird special today. The cost is, um, don't know. I have to go look. Um, we announced the dates. Uh, we put it on pre-registration early bird special. I gave the link. Uh, it is in the Dallas Fort Worth area because that was so great last year. You can pay in full right now for four forty nine. The price goes up June first, or you can do two payments of two thirty seven. So this was last year's shirt. I thought I would let you guys know too that today. I was reminiscing and looking through the photos from last year's retreat, which were amazing. And I did a little slideshow. And oh, good, Diane, you liked my house tour. Yeah, I'm pretty happy that I um, I got one thing done. So um, the retreat information is posted. I also did a little slideshow on this blog post. So if you're interested in being part of the retreat, it is October 7th through the 9th. I posted that information. That is all there. It is in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, October 7th through the 9th. Pam, I wish you could be there as well. Okay. The other thing that, and this was the shirt. Oh, Deborah, did you see the slideshow? Okay. Okay. It's kind of mixed up. I just did a mod podge of like pictures that we had. I don't think that's the word. I don't know what the word. I just did. Uh, there we go. That's one of the sisters. Sisters. Um, so for those of you who are there, please give a shout out and let me know uh, what you thought of it. Um, but we were able to put that on the calendar and offer a pre-registration. So that went out this morning. Oh, good. Okay. It's so heartwarming. You know what? It was just a quickie. So I wanted to keep it under 30, 30 minutes. I wanted to keep it under three minutes. I probably could have gone on for days because I looked in my phone and I had over 500 photos. By the way, I am having a glass of wine. There's I, The sisters are here. The sisters are here. I love this. Okay. Yeah. See, look, I've got sisters. I know exactly where they were sitting. They were the ones who called me out on how many photos I have on my cell phone. <laughs> Which, by the way, not any better. I'm just curious. <laughs> I think that was our last day laughter. And it was just somebody was saying, how many photos? photos do you have on your phone? And I was like, I think at the time I had 76,000. I don't really 
clean it up. Okay, good. Everybody is having, somebody's having a glass of wine with me. Deborah is having. A, so if you've already signed up, um, wonderful. I was really excited about the response. The response started yesterday before I even knew that we were putting it out. And we put it out to those who went last year. So it's great because I have returning people. I'm like super curious now. I just have to look. Okay. It, it's not good. I don't, I'm not claiming. Um, Oh, it's not bad. Uh, I have 64,831. I had a dump somewhere. I like put something away. How much memory is on my phone? I don't know. I'll let you know when it gets full. Um, yeah, I, I photograph a ton. Uh, how much? I don't know. All right. Uh, okay. The other thing that is happening. So I did the slideshow. I just got that done minutes ago. Um, for those of you who didn't know, my phone, uh, my phone, uh, er, this has been my birthday month. The birthday thing is over. But May 4th, we released the shoe workshop. So that is available for $25 versus the normal $52. The following week, we release the Sugar Skull Media Challenge, which that starts Monday. Monday that starts. I'm going to give you the link for that as well. And if you're curious about that, look at, I painted wine glasses today too. Kind of on a ripping roar. I was like ripping through things today. Uh, watched your house tour and love what you're doing with your remodel. Thank you, Linda. It's been a, a bit trying of late. Why is this phone stand in my place? Um, okay. So this is the challenge. Da, 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 da. Now, this is what I'm teaching. It starts. Oh, good. Are you guys watching the slideshow? I just whipped it together and threw some feel good music on it. If you do want to watch it, it will give you an idea of the food we ate, the camaraderie we had and the art we shared, all of which was amazing. Also, you get to, um, nope, this template has not been posted. It will not be posted until the weekend. I post it purposely the weekend before because I'll get 8,000 questions. And um, this is another option, but I think I'm going to turn this into a workshop. So if you don't like sugar skulls, you can paint this. No, I'm not providing that template. We are going to be working on this. But you can use the same techniques as this, okay? Um, and then if you sign up, by the way, this workshop is free to mixed media makers. Do not sign up, do not pass go, do not collect 200, because what's gonna happen is it costs us more money to refund your money. Don't really like that, it's free to you. Now there is this opportunity if you're looking for something when you sign up for the Sugar Skull, this to do, do, do. All right. Um, how can we see my remodel video? Uh, go back on my Facebook page today. Um, I posted it this morning. Uh, I just went live on my phone and just showed where the progress of what I had gotten done. Uh, it's really trying to do a remodel. Um, but I think I'm, I'm like, I had a really great meeting with the painter today and he invited me to his networking group. So that was kind of fun. I love that. I love making new friends. Uh, and he's a sole proprietor business, or not a sole proprietor, I'm incorporated, but uh, he's a small business as well. And I got to talking to him about networking and I thought that was great. All right. So you can just click back on my Facebook page and it was just posted this morning. I just did a little check-in. Oh, hold on. All right. I'll light this baby up a little bit more. So every third Wednesday of the month, normally I chit chat, by the way, which I'm allowed to do. Um, the super exciting thing, obviously, was the release of my retreat today. I um, was astounded at people signing up. And yes, there are limited seats. So if you are interested in going, you're going to want to go to that website. Okay. Um, oh, my God. We remodel our kitchen nightmare. Mm -hmm. I had my kitchen cabinets restained, so that was not pleasant, but it's over and I'm certainly thrilled about that. And I'm progressing, you know, it's little old me trying to figure things out on my own. And um, I think I got it. 
Uh, I have window. Oh, I just, uh, I have my windows being cleaned and then I have window treatments going up and a bed being delivered for my parents. Thank you, mom and dad for that. I was just talking to my girlfriend and it seems like the supply chain issues are still going on. All right. So every third, just to let you know a little bit about myself, my name is Tracy Weinzapfel. This is my studio. If this is the first time that you're watching uh, me, I apologize for any, and sorry, if you hear outdoor noises, I have furniture being put together. Uh, so if you have any questions about the retreat, feel free to ask me. This is the pre-early bird special sign up. Uh, the price goes up June 1st. So if you're thinking about joining us, maybe go look at that slideshow. I will tell you it was probably one of the best experiences of my life. I would say childbirth was another one. However, it involved uh, a lot of pain. This did not. <laughs> And um, sorry, my hair is up. It's just I started to sweat. Uh, I was unloading stuff. I ordered my furniture off of Amazon. So I was trying to navigate that. All right. I can talk more while we're working. But if this is your first time here, I do create in an art journal and do an art journal demo every Wednesday night at 5 30 p.m this is just free to anybody who likes to join we also have three memberships art masters um your artful journey and mixed media makers as you heard mixed media makers will get the challenge for free and um if you're interested in your artful journey or mixed media makers all you got to do is get on the wait list and we will get you um information on that as well um, oh, I have made it live, have been doing all of the art for journey since my first surgery. You are the best. Oh, that is so. My husband said you remind him of me because I sing all the time. I do sing all the time. If I'm not singing, something is severely wrong. Okay, so um, that's just my little thought process on that. What else do I have to tell you? I know, I've kind of been wrapped up with this. I did get in bed last night and I created a little bit. So while I'm getting out my supplies, I was playing and experimenting last night. I do, I'd love to sing. The problem is I can't really like belt it out here because I don't want to be shut down uh, for, I, I just played around last night. I had something open. I was just a playing, just, a plan, but look at this. Oh, do you like gold? Mm. I'll be sharing that. By the way, your artful journey members, share that. Okay. All right. Yep. See some things I just keep just for that. All right. Who wants to paint? It's 5.43. I'm normally painting by 5.45. I think I got done early, but this is the shirt from my retreat, which I do happen to love. I've been wearing it all day and um my painter made a comment about me walking around with a shirt that said tracy um time live uh give me a one word prompt and i'll give you some song lyrics my hubs calls me the walking name that tune okay if you ever go in an elevator with me if you ever go in an elevator with me particularly in vegas i will probably engage you in naming that tune. I love everything. I know it is a cute shirt, isn't it? So y'all, if you want, um, by the way, I think um, we had sponsors. This is, this is the shirt V-neck. This is a medium fits form fitting. Um, this is the shirt and, um, I just love it. I wore it all dang day and uh, normally I wouldn't do that because it's a little weird to hear, see Tracy time live in the middle of my chest, but it was kind of fun. All right. I, you know what? This is not exactly what I had in mind, but it might work. Hmm. I don't know what we're doing, you guys. Is there a thought in your mind? <laughs> Uh, I am going to 
I'm going to try this because it is eight by eight and this stencil is eight by eight. Uh, we're going to need some dry time. So I'm going to hop to it, people. All right. Uh, I will, uh, Lisa, email me about the journal. It's no longer being made. I'll give you the skinny. It's, it's going to be far out. Okay. Uh, so grab a stencil. Here's the thing about me. These demos are free. I will hop right through them. Uh, I try to be done in less than an hour. Um, uh, so if you are, have any questions, let me know. Uh, for those of you who are in your artful journey, and uh, not your artful journey, mixed media makers, we are going to be doing something very similar to this, but with a crackle medium in the next few months. So just know that that's coming. All right. Uh, I can't do crackle mediums because I can't let things air dry. kind of need a magic oven. And that's why we're limited by time. This mixed media, uh, this, um, I used to do something called Mixed Media Monday. I now do it with just my members and we're able to spend more time and I can do magic oven stuff. Okay, that's it. That's all I have to say about that. So if you're in my membership, you get more information. This is just a free, light and easy demo. Every Wednesday we do Mixed Media which is a little challenging in under an hour. Okay, uh, let's paint, let's paint. Okay, trying to figure out where the camera is. All right, so uh, yes, Casey, send me an email. I will talk to you about resources. I'm gonna have a resources of stencils coming up. So if you wanna send me an email, I'll give you some suggestions. Uh-oh, mm. uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Just really quickly, I'm just going to prime the surface with just gesso. This is just gesso. Not just gesso. It's gesso. Uh, the Crafters Workshop makes great stencils. I will give you some direct. I have some discount codes to hand out. It's just uh, I haven't put those up yet. Okay. Yes, I'm just doing this. I like st Oh, there's a bug in here. Okay. Uh, this is a palette knife. Maybe we won't even use a paintbrush tonight. Maybe we'll just wing it. But I'm prepping the surface. Okay. Now I'm using a watercolor paper, which people are like, do you use? I like watercolor paper and mixed media. I just happen to be working in this journal. I kind of like to th finish things. Um, and yes, I have discount codes coming up on stencils because I have so many stencil companies reaching out to me, asking me to use their stencils. So it's just, I've asked them to send them to me because I have to try them, make sure they work and that they're flimsy and not, you know, in good shape. That's what I want to say. All right. I am dying of heat in this room. I might have to go turn on my... um air conditioner because I'm so wet. Now I just, I just prep the surface with gesso. Now I really want to use modeling paste or crackle when I'm doing this. However, crackles really should be air dried. It's not a great, whoa. Mm. Yeah, crackles should be air dried. So we're going to wing it with the gesso. I won't put it on too thick. Then I can figure out where things are going. I don't even know what I'm painting, to be honest with you. I just thought I'd do a really cool background, and then I'll figure it out later. How about that? I pulled some old artwork of mine out. Yeah, that's dry enough. I mean, we're just going to get... No. This makes this super easy. No, I don't tape down my stencils. People do. I'm not that girl. If this doesn't turn out, not the end of the world. Oh, that feels good. The fan is now a hit in me. Now, this ironic, it just fits perfectly over my work surface. So, what's the trick with stencils? Well, the way I'm using this, oh, I hope this isn't crooked, is I'm just trying to get, this is going to be my background. But if you're painting, there's a lot of cool tricks of the trade, not a lot of paint, that kind of thing. But I am not going to care if this, by the way, is not perfect. If I move it, whatever. Uh, I'm not overly concerned. I like a good textured background. Is anybody new? 
I'd love to welcome you if you are. Thinking about colors right now. I always try to work like a little bit ahead in my brain. That doesn't mean it's registering. And I'm going to have plenty of time. I'm going to throw a heat gun on this because obviously this is like frosting a cake. I wouldn't know. I've never frosted one, but I, if I were going to frost one, it would be like this. <laughs> I'm not really known for my frosting. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of make sure that I have it good and that, that stencil is even broken. So I realize most of my stencils have been utilized for teaching. So uh, 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 uh. yeah, okay. I'm going to throw that in the top of my trash can and hope that I remember to dig it out before I go throwing it away. How is everybody doing? And yeah, I work right on the tape. I'm thinking a phalo blue. Now normally, if I was going to paint something in the middle of this, which I haven't decided if I am or I'm not, I might not be. Um, I would put, like, make this a little bit... Um, uh, like smoother in the middle. Um, can you color your gesso? Absolutely. But just remember your gesso is white. It's going to take an awful lot of color. You can always tint your gesso. All you got to do is pull it out of the container and um, add the paint to it. Yep, certainly can. Now, this is not the best way to do art with a heat gun because you're drying it from the outside in. But when you're doing a demonstration and people are watching you, watching paint dry isn't the most entertaining thing. So um, I try to just speed things up as good as I can and hope for the best. I'm just, I think when you're demonstrating, especially too, for those of you who are just here to learn the techniques, I mean, this should be good enough. Um, but I do always recommend, and see, uh, keep the air gun a moving. You can use a hair dryer, it works similar. A heat gun just puts off more heat. And you wanna make sure you let things cool in between. Like I'm, you know, this thing is burning up right now. Here's the thing about having retreats too. What I love, love, love is just being in person and being able to have that experience with you. There will, there will, nothing replaces being in person. Okay. While I'm talking and heating, bum, bum, bum. Oops, that would be heating my lap at the moment. Okay, getting there. All right, I'm going to, ooh, phalo turquoise. That's pretty. Um, cobalt teal hue. That's pretty. And how about a Prussian blue hue? Mm, 16 candles. Okay. You know the other thing about me? I'm 52, which is getting up there, but... I probably sing more music from the 50s <laughs> and the 60s than anything. Um, it's really like, I'm going dark. I mean, is this going to be crazy dark? It is going to be crazy dark. Is that all right? I guess so. How about just recreating the background and 
I won't even worry about it. Maybe the painting in itself is the background. And then I put some words over the top of it. I don't know. All right. Mm -hmm. Pretty dry. Thank you. I need to polish my nails tonight. That is on my list of stuff to do because I've been working around the house. It's just, um, I am working 24 seven right now. That's all I'm doing. All right. Now. Okay. I'm going to grab a flat, soft brush because I like this. I'm going to start light and go to dark. Uh-oh. i got to move everything over so you can see my... Uh-oh. I still have wet paint on this. I'm going to switch this out to a new one because I have glass paint on this and I don't want to mix that up. Get me out a towel. All right. And... If you have questions for me, by the way, do not hesitate to ask. I will try to answer them if I see them. How about that? Okay. I'm going to up the lighting, too. Up the lighting. Here we go. I picked out... Phalo turquoise, cobalt, teal hue. I wanted to start with something lighter, but we'll see. I could even add a hint of green in there. But let's see what this is like. This is just fun to play. Okay, this is, nope, that's Prussian blue. Here we go. Might have to turn my fan off because stuff's going to start to dry. Ooh, ooh, yes. Oh, yeah. My goodness, I love a beautiful phalo turquoise. <sighs> And I will now, you know, you'll see me go back and forth into the paints. Things are going to dry here quickly because I have a fan going, but that's okay. And, you know, I could add a little bit of water to it if that's okay, too. It's not going to mess anything up. Acrylic paints are water-based. Just want to... It's really hot here, and I just want the paint to move. Um, I will have the supply list on my website, my blog tomorrow, maybe even tonight, if I can get this photographed. I'll spell everything and put it in there. It's PH. Look at that. And I'm just, I'm kicking it back with the cobalt teal hue. So it's a lighter teal and a darker teal. You know, you got to love a good teal. You know what would look pretty in here? Like something bold and um, red. Pyro red. Hmm. Hmm. Now I'm thinking. I just want to make sure I get that all covered up nicely. You know, things get a little dark. Can I use watercolors oven? Alice, I'm sorry. I don't know what that means. Uh, help me with that one. I, I want to answer, but I don't know how to answer. Okay. Um, what was I? Oh, I know what I was going to pull out. Just a little bit of white. I don't want this to go too. Oh, watercolors over gesso do not work well. They're going, what happens with watercolors? Uh, you can, but uh, what you want to use that over is an absorbent ground. You don't want to, uh, watercolors over um, like gesso. Gesso is sealing the paper and it's not going to allow, um, 
it's not going to allow the watercolors to absorb in like it's meant to on paper. So that's not the purpose of gesso. It's to seal the surface. So to keep things from absorbing into the surface. All right. I just threw some white in there. That's all I did right there. So the answer is I would not recommend it. If you want to use watercolors on, say, a canvas that have already been prepped or primed, you get what you call absorbent ground. And then you have a absorbent surface. But if you use watercolors over a primer, it's just going to pond up and puddle up. It's not going to really absorb. Now this is fun and dandy, but I love a good Prussian blue. And you know what I like is a good chipboard brush. What is a chipboard brush? Well, here's one that's unused. Here's another one that's unused. Where are all my used ones? Here's one. And this is how I use them. I don't really see, this is the same well, similar brush. So this right here, okay, this right here is a chipboard brush. I'm going to take that uh, Prussian blue hue, which is one of my favorites. favorites. Da, 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 da. And it's a dry. I'm not going to wet this. I am not wetting this, so it's real dry. And then, watch, I'm going to take this paint and draw it out. Like So it's just faint. I don't want to go in full stream here. Okay. And I'm just going over, I'm just dusting over the top of this, you know, it's going to start. I'm just thinking something red. Something red. I just love red. But you see, I'm just using the tip of the just the bristles leaving it dry and that's what's going to bring out i kind of wish i had a little bit of green gold in here just i mean now that's what i would have started with <gasps> a poppy Ooh. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go back in now that this paint is dry. Okay. Oh yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And the good news is I still have, yeah. I still have a little bit of, there we go. Yeah, I just wanted that mixed in or primary magenta. You know what I'm going to do? I like the idea of like, I'm going to do some easy peasy light and squeezy poppies. Nothing I like that idea. Hi, Kelly. Now, I want to dry this because, and I'm just, the thing about me, I like to work it in, work it out. Yeah. So now I'm going back to the, yes, I'm drying, painting, drying, painting. Yes, I'm doing all of it at the same time. Okay. Yeah, I like that bit of the green. Okay. Now I'm going back to that dry brush. Dry brush. And I'm going to just skirt over the edges of this. Now... I really usually do this last when I know what I was painting over it, but I don't even know what I'm painting over it. 
but you know what? I like the idea of a red poppy. It's always a happy flower. I just painted a bunch of poppy wine glasses today. Seems a little apropos. And you can see how easy What do you think? I'm, I'm really liking that. All right. I'm, I've got one brush in one hand. <laughs> and then I've got another brush going. All right. We're definitely going to seal this today. So that will make those colors just pop. And I liked the green in there. Okay. I can always go back. I can always go back. All right. Now, this I normally, just so you know, I don't really dry these off or really wash these, but I'll just rinse it a little bit and just take off a little bit of the paint. I pretty much throw these away after a little while. They're just those inexpensive. They're super inexpensive. I don't know. I think they used to be like 99 cents, but all right. Hmm. That chipboard brush. Oh, there it is. Left me a nice giant hair right in the middle. Okay. Yikes, that feels yummy. Okay, I'm going to need one of these, one of these, and one of these. Now, where's that gesso? I really love pyrrole red with these colors, so let's draw a poppy. Now, you don't need to worry. I'm not Picasso with this, so I'm going to This is gesso. I am priming the surface again because I don't want the paint to sneak through. Okay. Um this is This is going to have a poppy here a poppy here, and then like some sort of like poppy bud. Good, hi Tammy. Okay. Good evening for those who are joining in. Uh, I prepped the surface with gesso. I used gesso through a stencil and made this fun background, which I'll show. Now, I am just making a big... I keep getting stuck to this. I'm just making a blob, which, don't judge, the blob is fine. Uh, well, okay. I'm just... Somehow this will look like a, a poppy. And if it doesn't, I'm okay. Now... Is that you might ask? We're glad you're here too. Okay. Multimedia per paper will work fine. That will work fine. We're doing mixed media. That will work fine and dandy. Hello, Ellen. Welcome, welcome. Now, the reason I do the um, gesso right there is because if I just put the red over the top of it, it's it will have the tendency to have paint bleed through it. Now, for those of you who are wondering, like, uh, if I'm painting as if, you know, I just don't care, this is just normally how I do paint so that I don't become obsessed with what everything looks like or doesn't look like. So there's petals. This will somehow look like my version of a poppy. That doesn't mean if you know how to uh, de uh, decorative paint and know your brush strokes, uh, more power to you. If you are the queen of the one stroke, stroker biz, uh, please go ahead, outdo me. I love, I'm fine with that. This is pyro red. It is my favorite red. It is like um, Lamborghini red. Now, I'm debating if this is black or blue. It's like the bud. I'm just going to, 
I'm not going to paint the stems um, green. I'm going to go black. I'm just going to, this is going to be a very, I don't know, just simple approach. So for those of you who are saying this nowhere near looks like a puppy, I think that does need to be green or black. It needs to be black. You know what? It's going to be black because I just decided it right now I'm talking to you. Remember, I'm doing a free demo that I like to go relatively quickly because I say it's going to be done under an hour. And uh, any anytime much past an hour, uh, you know, people don't want to... Uh, uh, Casey said, here comes a dumb question. There are no dumb questions. Uh, you just so your journal, do you have two journals, one for watercolors and others for acrylic and mixed media? This one has both. I'll show you what's in it when I'm done. How about that? I, I do both. I do a watercolor. Uh, now, this was what I was talking about. I was going to go like that. Oops, I almost went the red. I did go on the red. Now, this is just like, normally I'd make this green, but... This is like the poppy before the poppy becomes the poppy. It's the poppy bud. And I told you I was going to go easy on this. That's as easy as a stem goes. Look at that. Okay. You know, and I could add a few more of those where they just go like that. But see, if we break this down and not care about the outcome, and then we realize that this is just a piece of paper, and in the end, if all goes to heck in a handbasket, it's just a piece of paper. Candy best, no bad questions. Um, gesso does come in a more liquid form as well. But the gessos that I prefer, this is DecoArts Media Gesso. Um, I have several others. They're um, thicker. So see, it doesn't pour out. Now, some gessos, you would pour that out and it would come out. So I like that it has some grit and a stick to it because uh, one, two, three, four. There is no way I am ending this with four. Um, ugh. Okay, that'll make me feel happier. Uh, so that uh, I'm able to kind of accomplish. Now, I can accomplish what I am doing through like a modeling paste. Oh, this is off the paper, so that doesn't matter. Uh, but I just don't have a lot of, uh, I will talk about this journal later. This journal is no longer available, so I'm trying to get it, but it's no longer being made at the moment. So uh, I will list everything on my page tomorrow. Yeah, some are more like a paste. There are so many different versions of gesso. They make it black, black, clear, white, different viscosities. I prefer this one. It's kind of right in the middle because I can always water things down a little bit if I need more water in it. Okay. Now, this may not look like a poppy, but I sort of think it does. And I'm completely happy with it. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what I'm doing. So, you see that flower? I'm going to bubble that paint up like they don't recommend you do so you don't burn your artwork. But this is going to give my flower some more texture. You can actually hear it popping. Now, how do I get the middles to that, <laughs> you ask? I'm going to take that same carbon black paint with a stencil brush. This is a stencil brush. It's a really little one. There are several thicknesses. I mean, there are several types. I have a thousand of them. But I prefer these little guys sometimes. And I'm going to take that black paint right there. I'm going to brush it off. Okay. And then I'm going to figure out which way that this flower is going. Now I brushed it off too much. Okay. And I'm going to curve this around. I think it's going this way. Uh, yeah. Do you see a poppy coming? 
I see the puppy happening now. All right, and then this guy is going to kind of be going this way. I'm always like one of those people who's just like, I don't really, um, I just want to encourage people to paint and not, and not make it so it's not approachable. Like, break things down. I mean, hello. Is that a poppy? Yes. Okay, in my world, it's a poppy. Now, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to give some movement to said petals. Now, remember, I have so much texture in this. If you were going to be in here doing a one stroke, whatever, uh oh, one must look at one must be mindful of wet paint uh, because you're making a mess, Tracy. Mari, did you get an email today? I hope you did. All right. There we go. I mean, is this a poppy? Yes, yeah, poppy. It's a Tracy poppy. Now, I would like some yellow, and I mean some bright yellow. It's funny because I was just painting I was just painting back of my back of my brush. Ha, I just thought I forgot. I mean, really? Do we have to make this so difficult that we just don't try it? No. Thank you for whoever said poppies, because I have already painted them today. Uh, this is my first live with Tracy. Also, hello, everyone. Yes, I love it. I love it. Okay. Now, I mean, that is a poppy, right? <laughs> it's my version. All right. Now I need to dry this seriously. Oh, thank you guys. I just want y'all to have fun. I will list the colors that I use tomorrow. Uh, I am using a fluid acrylic. You can use deco art Americana. You can use plaid. I don't, yeah, listen, you can do anything you want. You're in the comfort of your own home. All right, I'm looking for another. I absolutely love this. Okay, now where is that? Remember that. Now is the time to go over and just make sure that I got everything. Now you want to make sure things are dry because you don't want to go over it. You guys, I found so much artwork the other day and I was just doing a walk down memory lane and I saw this background. I've done something similar like this. And um, I thought, you know what, I'm going to register that to share it. And it was actually a good project. So now we're done. We're done. Stop messing with it. I'm going to dry this. And now I am going to seal it. And I'll use a satin sealer, just a satin. I, I mean, I could spray seal this in two seconds, but uh, let's do satin. Let's do satin because it'll be just a nice covering over the top. I just used this the other day. Now, you do want to make sure this is dry. I have really, really busted a move on this. So I know and I understand it might not be dry. For those of you who warn me, it might not be dry. And, you know, you all know better, do better, fine. I get it. If it's not dry, don't seal yours, okay? That's all I'm saying. I just like to prove in under an hour I can create something that A, made me feel good, and B, I had a great time doing. So that's just what I like to do. I normally will get done and then 10 people will send me their suggestions of what they would have done. And then in that case, I always say, well, I did my best. Uh, mixed media makers, Maria, are you part of that group? <laughs> You're gonna be happy. 
based on that comment you just said. All right. Oh, oh, okay. By the way, always wipe the edges before you close these jars. Oh, don't throw that away. Tracy, your stencil is sitting right on top of your trash can. All right. A nice, soft, flat brush will do you some good. I just stabbed myself, and I'm down to the bottom of this. This is nice because I'm just going to give this a nice little sealer. Please, Lord, please have all this dry because I really didn't even think that through. I didn't think. Okay, so far so good. Those yellow dots might not be so dry. Let's see how nice this tape pulls up. I have hit or miss. Oh, hi, Maria in the UK. Okay, good. You're going to be happy about the rice paper thing. Okay, you got to be happy. I like to make you happy. All right, now, I don't really like to take a heat gun to my sealer because you don't really want to, um, I don't know, speed up that dry process, but I do need to take the tape off. So, oh, I'm trying to close the sealer. Okay. Tonight's Wednesday night. It's survivor night for me. I am, I don't know what this, I don't know what this crazy brush stroke is that I'm doing, but. Okay. That little added touch of green really did make me thrilled. Okay. I got it all off or I got it there. Okay. So let me just dry this enough. Keep it circling. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. You've got to move it, move it. You've got to move it, move it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh my god, this just makes me so happy when I throw this tape off. It makes me really even happier when it pulls off without pulling the paper up. It's a joyful occasion, and now I have tape on the bottom of my foot because my foot just went in my garbage can. All right. I would have to say, Houston. Oh, yeah. Good deal. Oh, now I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to, um, I'm just going to, I, I always say I'm not going to do something, and then I just go do it. Now, for those of you who get super crazy about, um, you know, my stencil has to match, match my background. Well, those numbers and letters had nothing to do with these poppies, but, you know, in the end, it looks okay. Okay. Um, Kathy, I will put everything that I used um, on in my blog tomorrow or tonight. I'm going to finish this and photograph it. My, my light box is hooked back up. I will uh, photograph this, and uh, I'm going to come back here. Uh, okay. Okay. It has a sheen because so does my face, uh, but that's just that's for a different reason. Um, uh, 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 uh. I will put everything on my blog tonight. That way I can spell the names out right, put the colors. Uh, I will put that on my website tonight. So for those of you who are interested, uh, my re live retreat is early bird special is on sale now. And guess what? We're definitely going to be doing a mixed media project because that is how I roll. I am also going through my brain and thinking about what other projects we're going to do. I have some in mind. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we were able to finish this in under 45 minutes. Now, there's those fine artists out there who are going, well, it looks like it. I just had great joy out of this. I got people to paint with me. And in the end, if this is my success and this is my legacy and this is what I leave behind, I am at peace with that. Uh, Lisa Larson, who sat right in the front, right to the right. Uh, Lisa, by the way, please, girl, go um, 
check out my blog today. Today I did a little uh, quickie here. I'll put the link. I, I, you know, I don't know why I didn't do this a year ago. Uh, I did um, a um, little slideshow. Didn't even put it in order. It was just random photos from the retreat from more Fort Worth and me sharing. And um, I, you know, just want you to check it out. Uh, let's see. So talented. Thank you. Scrapping in the spirit. How do I get to your blog? Uh, Kelly, here's, uh, 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 oops, hold on. I think I'm giving the wrong thing. Kelly, my blog is Tracy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking. It's under Tracy Wines Apple Studios. Here it is. I'll give you a link directly to my blog, which is where, by the way, you will find this piece of art and many other pieces of art to soothe your soul and make you happy. There we go. Oh, God, I have to reach for the return button. There you go, Kelly Love. I gave you a link to my blog. Uh, and you can subscribe, by the way, you can put your email in there. And every time I post something to that blog, my Friday favorites, my everything, it will send you an email and it will notify you. Why am I not telling people about that? In the upper right hand corner, it says get my posts via email. Put your email address in there. You'll be notified when I say something via my blog, which includes I share the video. I share everything. I share everything. All right. Thank you, guys. Well, I'm not drinking this now. I'm not sharing. Okay. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. I hope those of you who are interested in joining me for my retreat, I'll be talking about it from here until the sun goes down um, because it's the most exciting thing that we do all year long. And I hope uh, to see many of your faces there. By the way, there will be a Facebook group if you want to uh, find a roommate, that kind of thing. It is in the middle of the United States, which makes things really, I think, much easier. It is in the Fort Worth area, uh, Kelly, uh, and the information is right here. Just make sure you arrow, no, you know, like go down in the, there you go. all the questions will be answered. The early bird registration was released this morning. Once we sell out, by the way, we sell out. I don't add extra chairs, none of that. Um, that's just not how it goes. That's not how I operate. I will photograph this piece of art. I will. And I already know somebody looking for a roommate, by the way. Deborah, she's a gem. She's a love. If I didn't have a roommate, I'd be rooming with her. All right. Uh, I hope that you guys take this bit of creativity and run with it, do great things. I was so happy that I got to get to share this with you. I will be live tomorrow morning for your Artful Journey members 20. Uh, we will be doing morning meditation at 8 a.m. Um, and then Friday favorites. Oh, I have not thought of one favorite. I usually am three weeks ahead of time. I just have been knee deep. <laughs> I'm going to go around and show all my furniture. There she is. There's Deborah right there. I'm talking about her the whole time she was here. I'm so glad I said something nice. Um, I'll just, I'll just link all my furniture, <laughs> my paint colors, my, you know, what do y'all want to see on Friday? I know. Um, thank you, Maria. That ottoman is probably the centerpiece of my room now. I'm now looking for a desk chair that matches that. So I'm pretty thrilled. Thank you, guys. Uh, I sometimes feel like I'm on these adventures right along with you. And I, I trust me, when I think about sharing my remodel, I wonder who on earth would be interested. And I have been so delighted by people asking me what color I... Um, um, oh, how do I store my supplies? Do you want to keep, do you want to do Friday on my phone? And I will just go through because then I can take the phone around the room and we just do a tour of my studio. It's really a mess, but it's real. 
and go into the cabinets. And I'll just, uh, do I ever use a color, different colored Sharpies all the time? Yes. Not a ton. Uh, but I have a bunch. Yeah, I have a bunch. I think I have a huge set of them that were sent to me. Can we do collage sometimes? Absolutely. Diane, are you part of Mixed Media Makers? Uh, I take all that good stuff into there. Okay, Friday morning, 8 a.m., I will be broadcasting live from my phone. We'll make it this way so that you can see. I'll test it out and make sure it works. And we just go around my studio and I'll... Flip an A. I got to clean it out. Um, all right. It is what it is. It's a working studio. Okay. Friday is a tour of my studio. Y'all win. Um, okay. Y'all win. That's what I'll do. I am going to be, oh, checking in from Drummond Island, Michigan. Internet is iffy. Uh, Jean, you're going to want to check this out. By the way, poppies are the California state flower. I think. Yes, California poppies. All right. Have a wonderful day. If you have any other questions, just send them off to me. I will help answer them. And Friday morning, this will be great. I don't have to pre-talk about anything, but I do have storage options. We'll talk about where everything is located. If you want me to get into the depths and bowels of this studio, I will. And um, you can ask whatever you want about how I store stuff. I have to do it from my phone because it'll be easier to move around. Kind of tight. Okay. Have a wonderful evening. I will talk to you all soon. And thank you from the bottom of my heart for letting me do what I do and love it so much. Talk to you all soon. <laughs>